Hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining me for today's webinar on the new version of our official COM29M coal mining report. Uh, here at the Coal Authority, we're really excited about the new report, which launched on Friday the 5th of April, uh, as it includes additional content and a revised design based on feedback from our customers. So by way of an introduction, my name is Claire Tasker, Account Manager at the Coal Authority. Uh, I've been heavily involved with the product development project to bring you our new report, including gathering customer feedback and converting that into direct improvements to our new official COM29M. Today's webinar is going to be a brief 20-minute overview of the background to the new report how we went about making the changes and the change in development process here at the Coal Authority, and of course, a preview of the new report and what's changed. So a brief agenda for today. We'll recap on where we've got to with the current COM29M report, uh, which has come a long way since we opened up our coal mining data to others in the market back in 2015 the change process, uh, the drivers for change, uh, what has changed within the report, and the setup that we have at the Coal Authority for improving the reports and services that we offer to our customers. And finishing off with some details of our full range of customer care services. We are there to support our customers and we have a very much an open door policy on receiving and acting on feedback. So let's briefly recap on the current Coal Authority uh, official COM29 um, report, uh, a document that I'm sure you're all familiar with. Uh, so the previous uh, version of the report was redesigned back in 2016. And again, the improvements such as the summary table that we had in there and details of the results of subsidence claims uh, were all suggested by our customers and have been immensely popular additions. We are proud to be the industry leaders in the COM29M market and to be recognised by major lenders who trust the information and the reassurance that we provide. And of course, we are compliant with the very latest Law Society guidance on obtaining coal mining reports, uh, which we co-wrote with the Law Society uh, last year, 2018. So given what I've just said, uh, why would we take the time and the resource to change the, uh, the previous report? At the risk of repeating myself, uh, this is all about what our customers want and what they have asked for in terms of what would help to make the conveyancing process quicker and the coal search more simple and effective. We undertook research with our conveyancing customer base, asking questions such as, how could we improve uh, the understanding of the content of the report, both for you and for your clients? What format features would make it easier uh, to read the report and pick out the important data? And what additional content and advice would add value to the report? We also focused on the challenges faced by conveyances in terms of pressures to streamline the process and in terms of mining risks themselves. Purchasing property or land on the coal field is a topic that is sometimes misunderstood. Uh, perceptions around mining risk combined with a lack of knowledge about the work that we do and the support that we provide at the Coal Authority can mean challenges from conveyancers, clients and lenders too. Uh, so the new report includes additional reassurance to provide peace of mind. As I've mentioned, we now operate in an open and competitive mining reports market. And one of the reasons we opened up the market was to provide more choice to the market and enable us to invest in our products and services and to operate in a more commercial way, driving us to continuously improve. We've also developed the way that we implement change here at the Coal Authority. Uh, so we have a dedicated in-house project management office a dedicated development resource and a fully implemented agile change process. So the changes definitely don't stop here with our official COM29M. So let's have a dive into the new report and have a look at what's changed. 
We've introduced our professional opinion, which adapts according to the level and type of mining risks identified in the report. This will help deliver peace of mind to clients, uh, insurers and lenders by outlining known or potential coal mining risks. We now include a concise one-page handy glossary of mining terms uh, within the report itself to explain key terms to the home buyer. This includes key areas following research on the hot topics that we receive queries on here at the Coal Authority. A key element identified by customers was the need for more direct links and further information on our follow-on reports, which provide customers with a choice on the level of information they require on mine entries and subsidence claims identified in the report. This information is dynamic and again is dependent on the mining information identified in the report. And the front page has been completely revamped to improve the summary information that we provide up front in the report. This is now colour coded so you can clearly see where, uh, where there is a report with no known or potential risk. And on a reporting by exception basis, which uh, coal mining risks you do need to be aware of and what further action we would recommend. So talking of that front page, uh, here's an example of our summary sheet. And we're going to be looking at extracts from a new uh, Coal Authority Con 29M for the property in question on the left hand side of the slide. Here we can see uh, there are potential or known risks associated with past and future workings. Uh, two mine entries which you can see on the map image and also uh, subsidence claims. This replaces the previous summary table uh, which included a yes no response for everything uh, meaning that the result no longer gets lost. The new table ensures that key information is drawn to your attention with the corresponding page numbers of where to find that information in the detailed findings sections of the report. You can also see that, uh, given the specific mining information highlighted in the report, that relevant further action reports have been highlighted in the further action section. Customers have the choice of ordering our further action reports and again, uh, based on customer feedback, there is additional guidance on the uh, best report for your specific site or property within the report itself. One of the key new content features of the report is our professional opinion, uh, which has been developed with our in-house specialists to reflect the specific mining circumstances at the property location. This will take into account whether there are any mine entries nearby, any recorded or probable unrecorded mine workings, uh, or whether there are, for example, deep historic coal mine workings that, in our opinion, should not have any impact on the stability of the property. The front page includes this professional opinion summary with further details on page three of the report, again, based on the type and extent of coal mining risk. The next page features the mapping page, uh, so this has been brought forward in the report, again at the request of customers, so that an easy comparison of the risks on the map can be undertaken uh, to look at where mine entries and subsidence claims are located. Again, at the specific request of key clients, we have included an at-a-glance indication of whether the property is on or off the coal field. So going back to the professional opinion, uh, as we have a mine entry or two mine entries uh, near the property, there is a specific information relating to that risk in the expanded professional opinion on page three. This includes information on the support that can be provided and the remedies available from the coal authority in the unlikely event of any problems with the mine entry. If relevant to the mining risks identified, uh, the expanded professional opinion section will also include advice on any future development to be undertaken on the site or in connection with the property from a planning point of view. This now includes further information on undertaking development in high risk coal mining areas and our related coal mining risk assessment service. 
Moving on to the detailed findings section, uh, this is where we answer the, the latest standard questions by the Law Society of England and Wales and provide the due diligence required by the conveyancing market. The responses are now set out in a clearer format to make them easier to read and the full responses will be provided in all reports, even in those where no mining risks are highlighted on the front page. Just to reinforce that, here are some examples of the detailed findings relevant for this location, as per the information in the summary table at the front of the report. So here we have details of the two mine entries shown on the plan, and we've included the information held within our records related to these two shafts. Again, and as per the information in the summary table at the front of the report, uh, the report confirms there is subsidence claims claim within 50 metres of the location of the property, which we can also see uh, on the plan highlighted in blue. These two coal mining features, the mine entries and the subsidence claim, bring us to the further action report recommendations. This new feature within the report provides clarity on which of these reports are required and the ordering process for each, assisting that customer choice and also providing direct links to the reports themselves. We'll now turn to looking at some uh, other key content in the new report, the statutory cover confirmation and the handy glossary of key mining terms. Uh, so we now include confirmation of the coal authority's obligations and services should any subsidence damage or surface hazards occur that are caused by past coal mining. Those of you who have tuned into our web webinars in the past uh, will be familiar with the work that our public safety and subsidence teams do. From being first re responders to a number of different surface hazards that could affect the safety of the public, right through to engineering design and remediation work to make areas safe and sustainable for years to come. Our statutory cover confirmation is designed to inform people that, as a public body established since 1994, the Coal Authority continues to manage the effects of past coal mining on behalf of the government to protect the public and the environment, giving us our trusted heritage and knowledge of the coal mining industry. Now we come on to the glossary of key terms that sits towards the back of the report and explain some of the wording used within uh, the official COM 29M. Again, this has been driven by our customer feedback and introduced as something beneficial, particularly for clients to uh, explain further the information within the report. So that concludes our deep dive into the detail of the report, which I'll now summarise. So just to recap on the new content within the report, our professional opinion uh, delivers peace of mind by outlining current or potential coal mining risks. We include additional details on mine entries and advice on obtaining a coal mining risk assessment. Our report now gives direct links uh, to access relevant interpretive follow-on reports. And our concise and handy glossary uh, is a one-pager to help explain mining terms within the report. It's important to mention that our residential report uh, includes insurance against the reduction in value of property uh, as a result of information changing in the report. Just for an example, if a mine entry uh, recording is added or moved to within 20 metres of the property boundary, our COM 29M is fully compliant with the very latest Law Society guidelines. And although our COM 29M report no longer includes Cheshire Brian information, we are able to provide confirmation during the online ordering system whether the location in question is on the coal field or within the Cheshire Brian area. We're now coming to the end of, of the webinar. But I just wanted to confirm the support that is here and available from the Coal Authority for you uh, now the COM 29M is launched and going forward. 
This report has been created to help our customers, is based on their feedback and is designed to help streamline the conveyancing process. Having access to our in-house specialists has allowed us to develop our professional opinion, glossary and also other key content uh, to provide additional advice and reassurance to our customers. Our experts can provide information and dedicated support to key industry sectors, including conveyancing, geotechnical and environmental consultants, search providers and home buyers. We're also here to answer any questions you may have on the new CON29M and our wider range of reports too. We now have a dedicated product page for the new report and a product card and various samples are available to download now from CON29M.com. So that concludes the webinar. Uh, thanks very much for listening. I've included my contact details so you can get in touch with any feedback on the new report and it really would be great to hear from you. The dedicated website com29m.com is now live for the product cards and the sample reports too. So please feel free to download them. And again, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.